Hey, what up, what up, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Battletech. We are in the middle middle of a main campaign mission. This is the Cornbread Returns YouTube channel. We are in version 1.4. We are just rocking our way through the main campaign. No mods, um, uh, no mods, no DLC. This is just the base game, which you'll buy if you get it on Steam. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. Uh, but with that said, we're just going to keep rocking right through this main campaign. I'm, I'm going to, I think, uh, you know what? He just went. It's these guys I'm a little more worried about that have not gone yet. So I'm going to bring this guy over here. And we're just going to start unloading on these guys. If I can take out... I can maybe take... No, no. I probably won't be able to take him out. Well, I say that. And he's in real bad trouble. Do it. Excellent. He's done. So whenever you can take out a mech, my, my thing is, and I think the game kind of encourages this, um, I actually really like the Jaeger mechs with have the missiles and the uh, hard point, uh, kind of like the, uh, oh my, holy crap, yeah, that was a hard hit. Um, I actually really like the ones that have the missile combo, auto cannon combos. Uh, it'd be really interesting. Now the ammo it would might be an issue, um, just because, yeah. This will be fine, right? I'm out of the circle. Uh, the ammo might be an issue because you gotta carry missiles, and you gotta carry auto cannon ammo. I mean, the nice thing about this is I'm only carrying one type of ammo, so that really leaves us with a lot of. Uh, we're gonna have to turn off these medium lasers, guys. It leaves us with a lot of leeway. But um, I just like the fact that they have it. Yeah, this guy's rocking two AC twos, a Lerm fifteen. I would think that given him, I would probably l l rock some like short range missiles. But I think it has two, I really like this, the, the JM6A, right? And I'm a, uh, it doesn't say on my my model number, but uh, I like my, obviously I love my uh, double auto cannon fives, but uh, there's always room for improvement. Cool. So we're just going to gang up on him now. Uh, so he's dead. Might be able to kill him before he gets to go again, actually. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Not really worried about you, but you know, just because, uh, just because, just because, I might want to send like um, you, some weapons his way. So the most most of it will be going to you, but a little. What if we send like the smurms there and maybe one medium laser? I like that. No Kill this guy though, mostly. Goss hit him, nice. Worms are hitting him. He's not having a good day. Not quite dead. Not quite dead. And I think he gets to go first. So maybe it's like a tower or something? Is that maybe? I don't know what that was. Interesting. Yeah, we got set, We got six rounds remaining. Here comes the artillery. Strike, strike, strike. So we're about to start a new round here. Which is fine. About to start a new round here. Don't you worry, lady. We got it. Just relax. You heard her. And you know yeah, you I know. We got it. Just chill. Everyone chill. Everyone chill. Okay, yep. That's what you're going to do. Move right in behind this guy. Um, and uh, we, we should be fine. Let's use vigilance. Just in case he does turn and, and go after you. Hit him pretty hard. Now we didn't have any. Uh, it's it, he's gonna get to go. We didn't have any. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Interesting choice. Uh, I was gonna say we didn't have any damage to the back of that Jagermech yet, so that maybe wasn't the most prudent decision. But the fact of the matter is, uh, we're gonna be able to go with both of these guys, uh, and I think the Orion is gonna be our ideal bet here. Yeah, yeah, because he's just gonna be able to do so much damage here. Excellent. Yeah, he's not having a good time. That's going to be unsteady or a knockdown. I forget if I had, he's, he's knocked down. Yep. So, um, I think, though, it might be his turn. He's going to get up. He's going to have a huge penalty to movement. Uh, no, it's still my turn. Okay, so it's Cornbread's turn. A excellent. Um, I think that even if I move Cornbread here... Yeah, I don't want to be in range of those things, but... I think that if even if I jump Cornbread... 
I think that I'll still be able to fire enough of my weapons to make it worthwhile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just do it. Excellent, yes. Yeah, so we really messed his center torso up. We're going for the kill. He's going to get up now. Well, I don't know what he's going to do. He's really in rough shape. He's moving. Yep, he's going after the Orion. I don't like that because he's, he's going after my arm, and my arm's out of armor now, which Boy sucks. Off. Yeah, you're blown by. Way That's okay, though. It, it really is. It's okay. Nope, you're going to stay here, and you're going to multi-target again. And uh, m majority of your stuff's going to be going after this guy. Still got lots of worms. Um, but yeah, yeah, definitely make sure he dies. Please, uh -huh. please just kill him. Excellent. That's the last of their forward observers. I'm not seeing any more activity from our artillery. So that should end the whole artillery crap that's going on. And good. And yeah, this guy's in big trouble. He's done. I literally think I destroyed him entirely. Like, he has no structural integrity left at all. So that was their... I think that was their last lance, guys. Now, we're going to have to take some shots, probably, from... That's a large laser in, 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 uh, turret, which sucks. I really don't want to take any shots from that. So we need to be careful how we uh, proceed here. There's the last of the artillery strikes, which is excellent. Interesting, okay. Who was that? Who is that down there? Was that thing one of their own guys? Did they just bombard their own guy? Somebody down there got toasted. And I want to know who it was. Okay, so the fastest way here is just to sprint up here. We're going to have plenty... Yeah, okay. Interesting. Could bring it around this way, but that'd be stupid, I feel like. You know what? The fastest way is just going to be sprinting up here. We have five rounds remaining, guys, before we need to take out the generator. So we're not going to do anything stupid. We want to make sure we have plenty of... Um, we want to make sure our heat is mostly dispersed before we attack that thing. We're just going to be smart. I can get a little impatient sometimes. Uh, but I don't think that's the smart option here. Well, what can you do from here? Really? Can you do something from here? What can you hit? That's a light standard turret. Nah, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Just sprint up. Sprint up here, join the rest of the crew. Gonna move everybody up. I'm gonna use a little space bar action here to make this a little faster. I know this is not not the most exciting part of uh, of these matches ever, guys, but uh, very important. We're gonna we're gonna sink a shit ton of heat right now, guys, which is honestly really really crucial. Really really crucial to sink a lot of heat. Uh, we're gonna bring up glitch. Uh, glitch from right here. Can you really hit that? You know what? I'm actually completely fine with that. That's done. I'm guessing. No, not quite. That's okay, though. Good to go. Decker. That's an assault turret? Mmm. I don't love that. This is a new round, though. It is a new round. So, I don't, while I don't love that... No, it's a light standard turret. Okay. Well, you could just fire everything at this and see if you can kill it. 45, 25, 50. 6 times 12. This might kill it. Let's do it. It's a good start. Excellent. There it is. Last of the generators. Good job, Commander. The ground batteries are down, and dropships are clear to attack the shipyard. Mop up any remaining hostiles, and I'll send some here to uh, uh, extract you. Okay, excellent. Nicely done, Commander. The enemy has been vanquished, and Tyrlon is ours. Now there's nothing between us and Cormadir. I'll drink to that hell. We all will. I've got a keg of... Oh, my gosh, guys. Timbiki Dark waiting for in the Argo's galley, and this feels like as good a, t a time as any to crack it open. When we get back home, we're all celebrating, and drinks are on me. Oh, wow, just like that, guys. I thought that was going to be a little longer. I apologize. This video is probably going to be on the shorter side. Um, that being said, we could just start another mission. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. We'll see how far into this video we actually get. Great. Eliminate hostile units. Everything's done. Big payout. 
Nothing too crazy. I don't think we lost anything. Oh, sweet. Um, did anybody see anything they like? I like this. Jagermech A model attempts to provide indirect fire support platform that can do dish out damage without ever being seen. It has lower overall focus damage capability, but it usually mounts decent armor right, which I like. I actually really like that mech. It's a shame that I obliterated its, um, its uh, torso. Now, I will say, if we do this, we're going to get money. Let's check out the com equipment, though, first. That might be something we just have to take out of principle. Uh... Once again, these gyros are super legit. They don't take... They do a ton of melee damage. They don't take any tonnage. Which just seems like craziness to me. And nothing, 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 nothing ammo. Okay. So, I like the idea of taking that. I like the idea also of probably getting this quick draw. Because I don't think I've ever actually had one of these. 60 ton heavy mech. Mech more endurance than stock 4G by removing the LRM-10. Two additional medium lasers and four additional heat sinks can be mounted. Still runs hot. Too hot. Yeah, I don't like I don't like that part about it. I'd be tempted just to take this and... and uh, but you know what? This is money for us. It's a lot of money for us. That's what we're going to do. What else we get? Okay. Cool. Other stuff... Um, I am going to go though ahead guys. I think that maybe for part of this video, uh, is I will do a little, uh, mech editing. Wait till we load in here. Awesome. This message is for hi, uh, lady Kamea Arano of the Argon reach. I'm Elena. Marisol Chaplin, personal attache to Protector Thomas Calderon of the Tarian Concordat. Okay, so remember these are the dudes that 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 um, that allied with our enemies for a while. The Tarian Ministry of Intelligence has confirmed the authenticity of the evidence that you sent to us. You have our thanks. It would seem like your uncle's duplicity has left a mark on us all. Our ambassadors have been in communication with the representatives of the Federated Sons, and they are negotiating a de-escalation or negotiating a de-escalation of force along our shared border. All cooperation between the Tari and Concordia and the Director has been officially terminated. We've also withdrawn our fleet, and Director Santiago Espinosa has been recognized as an enemy of the Tarian state. Wow. Should he ever dare to leave the Argon space, he will have to, us to contend with. Well, that's nice because that's their outside support. Remember, this is their, like, we are on the periphery systems. We're fighting for the periphery right now. So they were hoping to have this awesome outside force. Finally, I will personally review your reports of Tarian war crimes in the Reach. If I find them credible, I will hold Commodore Ostergaard accountable for his actions upon his return. If what you've told me is true, he will stand before a firing squad. We have him. And Commander Commodore Ostergaard was one of the c commanders in the Concordat uh, liaison. Oh, this well, not the Concordat liaison, just the um, the Tarian Concordat. So uh, he was a, an a-hole who like did some horrible things to our people in uh, revenge. With that, our business is concluded. Be well, Lady Rano. Protector Calderon wishes you success in your campaign to come. Well, that's nice, but that's not really helping us in support. It's really like, basically like, we're not going to help your enemies anymore, but we're not going to kill you. I wouldn't bet on any sort of lasting peace between the Tories and the Federation. They would probably last back into a Cold War. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, one that will flare up as hot as soon as the other side gets jumpy. Still, for the time being, I'll take what I can get. I'm with you there, Yang. Lady Rano, I think congratulations are in order with the uh, Tai Tirlan liberated and the Tarians out of the war there's nothing left between us and the throne the directorate still has one card they can play they have lord madeira yes they do we found it uh we move on core madeira i will negotiate for his release but first i must rally the founding houses when i travel to core madeira i will be with all of our allies and their and their armies at my back i want the thr uh the throne world's skies crowded with our dropships exactly what about the people here when your invasion fleet touches down will you have their support 
Yes, I will. Every victory we've won has shaken their support of my uncle. His popularity as a leader is shattered, and when the time to invade comes, the majority will side with us. With our fleet fl uh, filling the skies and supporters in the streets, my message will be unmistakable. Everywhere my uncle looks, he will see the uh, Arano Ka Kamorant? Kamorant? Cormorant. Cormorant. The symbol of the house and unshakable resolve. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be right there by his side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I want to be there. You will be, Cornbread. You have my word on that. Director Espinoza will uh, will see our strength, the strength of our fle fleet, of our unity, of the loyalty of our people. And he will return Lord Madeira to us, or I will destroy him utterly. Be ready for my call, Commander. Together we will bring this war to a close. Okay, there we go. His contract to move on core meter is now available. The mission represents a point of no return. Resistance will be significant, and our forces will be committed once we fully begin the assault. We should be prepared to field multiple fully equipped lands. Right. Uh oh. Multiple fully equipped lances. Interesting. The quick draw five A was designed to give a mech more. Yeah. So so what I've just heard right there was we should be equipped to run two fully uh armed lances. That's really interesting. That's really really interesting. In fact, I'm gonna go to the store and see what they got. We can get another Griffin. Oh no way. Oh, I've wanted one of these for so long. It's only three million bucks. So we're going to buy one of these. Yep, we're going to buy one of these. In fact, I used to rock one of these things in... Um, it's an assault mech, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken here. Uh, yep, I used to rock one of these things in Mech Warrior Online, which is like the uh, action game. Yeah, we're just going to buy one straight up. Boom, got one. So we actually already had, we actually already had two. I, I remember actually we recovered one on uh, one of the planets uh in one of our other missions so so i think for the rest of this video guys what we're going to do is we're just going to get prepared to field all of the lance that he just talked about so basically what he said was we're going to do some repairs here no no big worries at all we're going to repair our guys um what he said was two fully stocked lances and so if we do have eight mechs available to us right um that means Highlander. That means the Jaeger mech that we've been running. That means um, probably our uh, Centurion. And then uh, definitely our, um, and our Orion in one. But that also means that we get a, a field in other lands. I think that means our Jenner. I def it obviously means our Stalker. I think that means our, our, um, our Thunderbolt and probably our Blackjack. That's my feeling right now. And, and with that, with that thought, we need to refit these guys and get them ready for war. So I think the idea here, holy shit, this thing is awesome. Here's my biggest problem with this mech, though. I love, love, love the Lurmies. I like having, I like having the Lurmies, but look at, look at this thing. These large lasers, I don't think they help anybody. They're five tons. They, yes, they have very long distance, but they're not really helping us right now because uh, if we want long distance, we would go with something else. Now, I will say, if I take one of those out and I put, say, a medium laser in there, like maybe like this one right here, that just freed up four tons. So... As much as I love long-range missiles, I mean, not long -range, large lasers, and I do love them, the, the heat efficiency of this mech is bad, and it has no jump jets, which kind of goes against the things that we like to do, generally speaking. Um, and so I think by just honestly swapping both of these large lasers for these really cool medium lasers that we've got, I think that this is going to be the start of something good. Now, if I have... Um, if I have some, if I have extra, can I like rearrange these? No, I can't. If I have extra weight, I may put one of those large lasers back on. But for right now, this makes a lot of sense. On top of that, I just love this thing. Oh my God, this thing is awesome. Uh, what a monster of a mech. How much, how much uh, armor is this thing rocking right now too? Well, we're going to, we don't worry about that. What's this? Oh, yeah, she says unused tonnage. That's fine. Don't worry about that. Um, 
first things first, pretty easy decision there, right? Upgraded weapons. Um, second thing, second. You know what we might be able to do, though? If we if we downgraded one of these lerms to like something like that with 50% crit, which is still a pretty nice lerm, we free more tonnage up. We've got plenty of lerm ammo. Right? Because this is... Uh, 120 rounds. In fact, we might have even too much. But what I just did was maybe this one's plus 3 accuracy and plus 50 crit. That's just plus damage. I like the straight up damage to be quite honest. But the 50% crit is really nice too. Uh, damage 25. No, we're going to keep the 35 damage one. What if we put what if we put this guy back on there? Still pretty goddamn good. Uh, in terms of this mech. This is so much fun uh, doing this thing. Yeah, yeah, let's go like this. Let's swap them out for an upgraded one, obvi. Um, so we're just upgrading him a ton. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to put a bunch of heavy shit on him. How many of these do we have? We have eight. We might, even put a, we might even put a gyro on him. What's this cockpit mod, though? Uh, two injury resists. I like that. I don't hate that. I'd like this laser, uh, this missile accuracy system, but two tons, ridiculous. That that I think really goes on a um, gyros and counteract the massive amounts of max all max come quick. Yeah, that's fine. This is zero tons added, right? So it's just it's helping us out in other areas. I think the idea here is going to be moving some of these heat sinks around. Did I just remove that heat sink? No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Yeah, yeah. Just moving some of these around. Um, well, I say that, but I can put jump jets other places, too. Let's do this. Um, and let's start putting some jump jets on this guy. Yep, one in each of these. Uh, heat sinks very efficient down in the legs. Um. And we're, whoa, we, we actually, hmm. Even with three jump jets, we're increasing our movement quite a bit. How many slots does he have? He has three. Okay, so we're maxed out on jump jets. Man, we could add a lot of armor right now. Um, how much smurm ammo does he have? Plenty, honestly. It's At this point, I really think it is, guys, just adding heat sinks. The thing that sucks right now is that we don't have double heat sinks available to us. And that these are just not as efficient. They're just not. So right now, our alpha strike is 118 heat, but this thing's getting, it's getting better. It's gotten better. But I also think I want to add some armor here. I want to, like, add, beef it up a little bit. I don't like the way it just distributed that. It took too much off my legs. So... I know. I don't like the way it just did my legs. Yeah, let's make sure we got 105 on those. That's too much. That's perfect. Uh, this is fine. Let's take that down, though. And we might gain a little bit by just removing this down a little bit. I actually, I like the center torso weight, though. But I also like 70. Yeah, you know what? We're not going to worry too much about guys getting behind us. It's got quite a bit of uh, uh, stock shit, too. Let's uh, beef up these arms a little bit. Get both of the arms to 100. In fact, I might even take those guys to 105. If I did, we'd be perfect. Um, in fact, though, what do I want to do here? Maybe we just do that. No. Yeah. No. I want to keep the front loaded nicely. Head good. This good. Back good. Legs a little more beefed up. Quite a bit of armor. Uh, pretty freaking durable mech here. Um, this is a good first iteration, I think. All we did was removed one. We moved uh, uh, one large laser for a medium laser, which we have very many of. Actually, this is just. I feel like it's stupid. Stupid amounts of firepower. Look at this. Look at this. 365 max damage. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, we're probably not gonna be in tons of situations, guys, where we're firing everything. Uh. But I like this thing. I like it a lot. I still think this is kind of stupid, but, 
you know, with its long, I mean, the thing what I could do, though, I don't like the large lasers. I've decided I like these. I like the medium lasers. I just saved, four, look, I just saved four more. I got a ton of heat efficiency. I just think it's stupid. Those medium, those large lasers are dumb. And so you know what that means? We're going to, that means we're, we're back in the game here. So how much tonnage do we actually have left? This is 10. Five, seven. No, we're basically going back. What's this? Two, two, and two. Interesting. This is five. Is it a heat thing? Because this is ten heat, six heat. Yeah, yes, yeah, so that's more heat. So let's just restore it to that. So right now, two hundred forty lerm ammo, which means we'll get. We get 12 shots, right? Uh, my math is is horrendous, guys. So I'm just gonna do whoops, 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 whoops. whoops. I'm gonna do this. 240 divided by 20 is 12 exactly. So I like that. 12 salvos. We've increased our heat efficiency. I, I'm thinking a lot of times we're just gonna be in a position. We've we've equipped it. We've maxed out the jump jets. We've improved a lot of stuff. And really, all we did. Seriously, all we did right now. In fact, just by doing this, I think we might be able to decrease the amount of costs. All we did was just downgraded our medium, la our large lasers to medium lasers. And we didn't lose a ton of damage in that process. Look at our firepower. So it's stupid. It would have been dumb to go into battle with, that, with this mech like this. Uh, we do have one more ton. The question is, do we put another heat sink on? I think so. I mean, we're, we're freaking armored out right now. This thing is a monster. Uh, let's do... We could go one more round of armor. Let's just see what how much armor it has. Let's just start with this. That gets our heat efficiency up a little more. Because this, this thing is really, guys, it's going to generate a lot of heat. It just is. We're, we're hardly ever going to be f able to fire a uh, a full strike. It's just a fact fact of life but honestly dude i am loving this thing it's a shame i don't have more uh upgraded medium lasers a better srm6 like it's a little bit of a shame i don't think they do in the store either otherwise i'd be buying them right now yeah nope sucks but anyway that's the way to go so he's in there he's doing well uh can i do anything to him because i'm probably gonna bring this guy into battle no more upgradable AC2s. No. For the most part, no. This guy just kind of is what he is. It's not a particularly fantastic mech, but he holds a, a, a very good place in my heart. Uh, yep, you're fine. This K2, I, I don't really like this K2, to be completely honest. There are other fire support mechs that I'd rather have, like this guy. Um... But I suppose, just for the hell of it, it might be smart to, to just replace these PPCs with my upgraded ones that I have, right? I've got good ones. I've got a plus 30 stability one, and I've got a plus uh, 4 accuracy one, um, which is good. And I think that'll be fine. Um, seriously, though, what is your alpha strike? But if you don't fire both of your medium lasers, well, so here's the thing about this guy. What if I did this, this... And this, and then just put two extra heat sinks on. That, and like that. So he sinks 66, 35, 35. So he can almost fire those every, almost every turn without accumulating much at all. That's actually a pretty good um, trade off. The thing is, the thing that sucks actually about that is it still doesn't have any jump jets. It just pisses me off. How's the durability? It's pretty good. Whatever. I don't even think we're going to bring him into battle, so who cares? Uh, you're still doing very well. We don't have any... Um... Yeah, let's go back to base. Oop. Oh, we're in there. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. Uh, what do we got? Storage. What do we have in storage? Another Thunderbolt. A quick draw. Shadowhawk, which I hate. 
trebuchet, which I don't hate, but it's a little light. A Jenner, a fire starter, a panther. We already have our scout anyway. Um, let's look at the let's look at this guy though really quickly. Good. No upgradable medium lasers. No SRM fives that I have that are good. Nope, just another one. What? Wait a minute. Uh. Okay, so just wait a second here. We might burn. Where, where we gotta go? Oops, oopsies, oopsies, oopsies. Nope, don't gotta run, Darius. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to talk to you. Twenty-two days. Let's travel. Because um, I it looks like I had another specialized. Yep, that's great. Let's just keep rocking that. Looks like I had another specialized. Uh, so let's get the stalker up. Uh, pirates ambush the Argo. Yeah, let's pay him off. Wow, holy crap! Really, I, I got a morale decrease for just paying these guys off. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I want the stalker to be complete, please. Okay, there we go. Let's go back into the mech bay really quickly. If we have another SRM six plus plusy plusy plusy. We do! What? Uh, Avi. Holy buckets, this thing. This thing is just a savage. He's a savage. Excellent. So we'll go back here. Yep, we'll get these guys up and running uh, first. And then go from there. And uh, I think this will be good, guys. And just like that, I think we are actually going to put a cut in this video. We're on our way to doing that. Uh, we'll just get right into it next time. Um, and the reason is for that is because I don't think there's any more upgrades we can really do to our guys. Uh, everybody's in really, really good shape. Um, we've got a lot of upgraded equipment on a lot of our mechs. Uh, this guy is in really good shape too. Tons of, tons of really solid equipment. I, I'm just really happy. It'll be interesting to see, um, how to balance it out. Now, the one thing I will say that I might need to do guys is I don't have enough pilots. I have one, two, three, four, five. I only have six pilots, which means I'll probably need to hire some more. So if I go to the hiring hall, let's hire a couple good ones. Uh, nobody that good, to be honest, which kind of sucks. Here's a gunner. Oh, we might not hire. We may not hire guys in, in transit. Okay. Well, uh, I think then what will happen is we'll get everybody back. Uh, we'll do the hiring here. Um, maybe in between videos or at the beginning of the next, but man, I, I, if I had known this would be the case, I probably would have been recruiting guys, uh, the entire time. But, uh, just like that guys, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in this video right now. Uh, thanks so much for coming out. I hope that, I hope that was kind of a, it's kind of a weird episode. It kind of ended with the a very short end of that stint, but I hope you guys enjoyed kind of customizing those mechs with me. I have a ton of fun doing it. It's one of my most fun things about this game is customizing those mechs. Um, so I think it's pretty cool. And so we'll get the travel done next time, and then we'll get go from there. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.